What's up people of the internet, I'm the big boat here with yet another video. In this video we will be testing the Intel Celeron NG840 which is a CPU based on the silver mode architecture and part of the Patreon family of power efficient processors. It has two cores to a hyper threading of course and it has a burst frequency of up to 2.58 GHz. The Celeron NG840 has the Intel HD graphics page row as the integrated graphics, which have 4 unified shaders and a burst frequency of up to 792 MHz in the NG840's case. It's also based on the same architecture as the Intel HD4000, but using the latest driver suite available. We also have 4GB of RAM in single channel mode, as well as a 500GB hard drive with the operating system and also on which game that we'll be playing today is installed. As for operating system, we're using Windows Excite Restore Revival version 2. You can find the full description of the specs in the video description down below. The game that we'll be benchmarking today is The Walking Dead A New Frontier. Shout out to the guy who requested it and let's get straight to the points now. Yeah, but the batteries have been dead for a couple of weeks. 
I mostly wear them to fool you guys. I know the FPS are quite low, but it isn't too bad for a game of this type. Now, the lowest resolution allowed by default, as you probably saw, is 800 by 600 but there is a way to lower it even further, so if you want to, follow me. First, you're gonna go back to the graphics settings and you're gonna make the game run in windowed mode. Next, press your windows key, right click on your desktop and go to display settings. The display settings might look different depending on your windows version, but you should have advanced display settings. Click on them, then go to display adapter properties, list all modes. There, you should hopefully have a 640x480 option. Choose it, then click on OK, and finally apply. And now our desktop resolution is at 640x480, but we're gonna go a bit lower to 640x400 because it's a widescreen resolution and it's my personal favorite low-end resolution. Finally, go back to the game and move the game window so that you can properly play, this is very important, and voila! The game resolution has been lowered. Of course, you can always revert the desktop resolution back to your native one from those settings after playing and you can actually go for an even lower resolution but I don't recommend it because this is a game with dialogue options and in such game you do want the text to be readable. Also, for some reason, when I go for lower than 640x400, the screen isn't completely filled up, looks really weird. Anyway, let's see how a new Frontier runs at 400p.
of these back in the day. Looks like there's more to see up here. 